Hello everybody and welcome back for another video. Today we are reviewing the classic Star Trek movie series Lieutenant Sulu from Playmates. Um, yeah, so I got this figure and it's in the box, so I thought might as well review it. Um, so let's see this. So here we go. Here's a full shot of the box, sort of. You, you, you can see it. Um... So there he is, Lieutenant Sulu. Um, we have the Enterprise on top. This is classic Star Trek movie series. Exclusive Star Skybox Playmates Deluxe Star Trek movie series. Collector card included. Um, Lieutenant Sulu. The asset. You guys can't see that. The asset number is six four fifty. And then the stock number is 6454. And then here's the back of the card. With Star Trek fans. Proof of purchase. This is for some sort of mail away, I think. Then here's this. That's just the copyright. Then the co collector's card. Star Trek movie post picture. 1979. I have not. Right. Right. So this figure is from the original Star Trek motion picture movie, which I have not seen. I've seen Wrath of Khan, which is the second one, but I haven't seen the original motion picture. So, e. back to the back, here are all the other characters. Admiral Kirk, Commander Spock, General Chang, uh, Doc Dr. McCoy, Commander Kruge, Lieutenant Sulu, Lieutenant Savick, Sabak, Sabak, Khan, Khan, Martia, and Lieutenant Uhara, Uhara, sorry, probably mispronounce all a bunch of their names, I'm not good with names, um, sorry, and then here are the accessories, he comes with Starfleet Phaser, a Starfleet Risk Communicator, a Starfleet Tricorder, and a Leisure space station section. So each five, each of the main five crew: Admiral Kirk, Commander Spock, Doctor McCoy, Lieutenant Sulu, and Lieutenant Uhura. Each came with a part of this, and then you would collect all of them and build that. But they never made Chekhov or Scotty. But we'll get in, into that later in the video. So, um. Now I am gonna go to to um him opened up. So I will see you when I have him all opened up. And now here he is outside of the packaging. So you know, let's just here here we go. Here's the stand. It says Lieutenant Sulu on it. Which is him. He, he's Lieutenant Sulu. Hey, look at that. Then here's... Here's the piece of the... Machine... Thing... Don't know the name of. It's pretty cool, right? So you buy all five of the main crew and then you're able to build the thing. I don't know the name of. And then here is his tri... Holder? Tri... Quarter, yeah, tri quarter. His phaser, which is type two, I believe, and then his wrist communicator. So here is Lieutenant Sulu. Um, you know, not a lot of articulation. This figure came out in 1991, I believe. Wait, it's on his foot. No, I was way off. The line started in 1992. What was I saying? It came out in 1995. Um, and then each figure back then, Playmates put a serial number on them because like for collectors. So this is number, I don't know that number. That's a really big number. Um, I'm really looking at it. 58 thousand yeah fifty eight thousand six d three so this is a fifty eight 
thousandth what is it? Sixty-three figure. And um I'm the only one who has this number figure. And um you will never be able to. But if you guys have like number zero 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 one or zero zero two or zero zero three, then like that's a big deal. And then if you have number like one seven seventeen oh one 1,701, then that's a pretty big deal because that was the number on the original Enterprise. Which, I mean, technically, that number exists out there somewhere. And they released a lot of these figures, so... He has head rotation for the articulation, right? Um, his arm can go like that, up and down, both of them. You guys can't really see that. And down, and then... His arm, elbow, and then swivel, no hand, wrist, same thing on this side. Then his legs, all you can get is, oh, actually, like that far, and then bend at the knee for both of them. So, like, they, they weren't really able to sit down back then. So... This is the uniform they all wore in the original motion picture, which, as you can see, isn't that great. I mean, I like it. They've grown on me over time. I like the figure. I think that the figures do a better job at portraying, portraying the costumes better than the actual movie did. Um, which, this thing was their vitals that would go back to Dr. McCoy. The belt. And then there's their um, badge. But yeah, there's Lieutenant Sulu. I have a few comparisons to make. So let's do that now. So here we have Scotty. Why does it... On the camera, it looks like they're like the same height, basically, but like... He's on. Okay. Check off. Captain Kirk. You guys can't really see that. Okay. So, these figures, these figures, they're based off of... These figures are from the Generations line, which the Generations line only had 5.6... Yeah, depends. These guys only have five points of articulation. Just arm here, no elbow, no swivel, right? Just arm, arm, leg, leg, and you can't really move these guys' legs because of their, like, dress. And then the head can move. And these were the stands that they came with, the generation stand, which, as you can see, Sulu's is a lot bigger. So I'm just gonna move the stand off to the side. So all of these figures came with a phaser and a communicator based off of the original series. So here it is. So, um, I'm showing you this so I can compare them. So here's the type or the wrist communicator next to like, oh, these are small. Next to the this communicator, e, this is hard to do. Yeah, you, you, you guys get it, right? Yeah, there. The flip communicator. And then here are the favor phasers compared. So these were painted. These are just solid blue. Um, and they have a really hard time of holding them too. Yeah, see, like, ooh, sorry, Kirk. Okay, I don't know why I'm taking off the stands. I kind of need them to, you know, stand doing it so then you can get proper size comparison, which is good, you know, like, these are part of the same line, so they are all pretty much the same size. So, yeah. Um, so, now I bring these guys out because, um, we said this earlier in the video. 
they only made the, there's seven, seven of the original crew. They only made five of them in this one. And the two that they didn't make was Chekhov and Scotty, which they made in a Generations line. So, in a Generations line, in this uniform, the Wrath of Khan, the one that they wore for all of the movies besides the original, they only made these three. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. They only made these three of Kirk, Chekhov, and Scotty. Kirk, Chekhov, and Scotty, where this one, they only made Sulu, you, you, McCoy, you, Hera, Spock, and Kirk. So Kirk, you can, Kirk is the only one that you can have in both uniforms, which I, I like these uniforms better, like, a lot, but I like these figures better. Like, I like these uniforms better, but I like these figures better because of their articulation. Which, this is the first figure that I have of them in the suit. But I'm hoping to get all of the figures from the original motion picture. And then another thing is, for the newer line, that Playmates had and then cancelled, they made Kirk and Spock in this. So... I know that this reviews of Sulu, but we're not. Just want to show this real quick. Here's a size comparison of the two Kirks with the other figures and of Spock, because they never made Spock in this or this in this one, right? So you you can kind of see like these guys are bigger, and you know it doesn't really work because of the colors and the articulation. Mm. And another thing is, these figures, um, they're okay, they have articulation, so if you're looking for, like, just one singular figure of Spock or Kirk, then these would be a good figure, you know, articulation, they're, they're modern, but, mmm, everybody's falling, but... Playmates just made such a big line and such that these figures are better just because they made so many more where for these guys you can only get Spock and Kirk and then Khan which they did make Khan in this line this line the, the movie series line we saw on, on the back of the box so yeah now I'm gonna move these guys back off to the side there's one more comparison I wanted to do of the just plain old generation, not generations, the next generation, one of the first figures they made of Jordy LaForge. Um, so there he is next to Slew. Um, yeah, so you can see the difference on how the costumes have evolved. Let me get Kirk evolved. Don't have the original series costumes figures. Hopefully, I can get them one day. And in the original show, they had their you know classic blue, red, yellow uniforms, like shirts. Those figures they did make all seven of them, but in a box set. So you had to buy the box set to get all seven. Um. So, yeah. Now the sex accessories. He can hold, he sort of, not really, he, he really can't really hold them. He really can't really, yeah, that's proper English. But like, their hands, these figures, they have a really hard time of holding stuff. Now with the, with the tricorder, you can kind of like, with the articulation, like move his hands together to make him hold it. If I really try, I could. rip it in there, sort of, yeah, no, um, then the wrist communicator, which this is something that I want to talk about mainly, um, so you can put it on 
here and have it facing up, see? But you can't have it on the side because of how these uniforms are, see? You can't really do that, so it's only there. Or you could kind of put it in between on his actual wrist, not like on the uniform, but it really just like snaps in there and, and like that's not, that's not going anywhere if you put it there, whereas if you put it like kind of on his hand, it, it, it's not going, okay, that's not where I was going with that. I guess it stays on there pretty well, which you can put it on the other hand as well. So there's that. And then the phaser, which he can hold in his hand, maybe. Right? Yeah, see, he can hold it in his hand just like that, and as well in this hand. Now, let me bring back out this Kirk, and he just dropped it. He also comes with the wrist communicator. So if we compare them, where did it go? How did it go back here? Um, they, they do look the same. Do not think they're the same molds though, because this one has like a mold line going through it and this one doesn't. Lips look just about. Yeah, I think that these are different molds. Yeah, they are. They they are. This one has like a line there, and this one doesn't. It's like, I think they look very similar though. Yeah, no, they're different. They're different. This one has two buttons right there, and this one just has like a line. So these two are different. And then Kirk also comes with the phaser, I believe. I don't, I honestly don't know if what Kirk came with and what Spock came with, but one of them came with a phaser, which these are also different molds just from the placement of like the buttons and stuff on there. Um, so, and the handles are also different. And then Spock, or Kirk, I don't know, came with the tricorder, which this one looks very similar, but this one has like a curve here, this one doesn't. So there you go, I guess they're not using the same molds. Very similar molds, but not the same, apparently. Maybe, I don't know. I do not know, maybe they are, and maybe I'm just not very smart. I mean, I'm, I think I'm decently smart, at least. Um, so there is Lieutenant Sulu. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this review on him. Um, if you guys would like to see more reviews on Star Trek figures, then let me know, and I will do that. Or just whatever you guys would like to see. Comment down below. Um, what videos you would like me to make next and um I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and Let's put that oh right 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 I almost forgot almost forgot here let's get the thumbnail what's causing that shot that shadow is that just his arm no something causing that shadow. I don't know what's causing that, that shadow. It's not any of the figures over Wander. Is it coming from below? Is that possible? I, I don't know where that shadow is coming from. That's kind of weird. Maybe just this. No, I want to. Oh, the lights are shining in all direct. I think. It... I don't know. 
Um, let's get a thumbnail shot. Oh, right. What was I doing? I was doing the, the trading card. Um, right. Let me just take a picture. I think that's a good shot, right, guys? Right? For the thumbnail? I took two. Okay. The trading card. Right. Um, so here's the trading card. Lieutenant. I, I don't want to say that name because I'm going to mess up. Sulu. Star Trek The Motion Picture. There he is. Which these are the where before they would be like this for like the next generation, they would be like this, um, and smaller too, but these are like movie, so like they're sideways like this. And here's the back with the same picture. And then there's his bio if you would like to read that. And then there's also this, which we saw on the back of the box, the like um, mail-in thing, which this is what you would mail in, so you, put the proof of thing here, or the stamp, or put it on the back, which, you know, it would be kind of fun to fill this out, and send it in, but this address is probably not in use anymore, so you probably shouldn't do that. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Um, goodbye.